Namaste friends, welcome to Learn with Jay and Powered by Magic Needles. Today we are going to see how to increase stitches while we are working in the projects. The increase may occur at different places. Today we are going to see how to increase the stitches at the ends. So I have made a few increases. I will demonstrate the increase. Chain 1 and turn. First the SC increase. Chain 1 and turn. The traditional method is placing 2 stitches in the last stitch here. Last stitch of the previous row. And continue with one stitch on each of the other stitches. I shall meet you at the end. We will come to the end of the row here. So we need to place two stitches in the very last stitch. This is one way of increasing the stitches. The, stitch, the increase will be very smooth if you place the increase in the second and the second last stitch of the row so let us see that so in the first chain one and turn let that chain be a little tight place one stitch in the corner most stitch the very first stitch then in the second you increase one stitch place one stitch as normal then one increase then one sc in each of the next stitches till last but one so when i reach here i shall meet you we have the last stitch here so this is last but one so he, in this stitch we are going to place two stitches that is the increase and this stitch will be to the side place one stitch pick up both the loops chain one and turn so i shall work few more uh, rows one or two more rows by placing the increase in the second and the second last stitch and get back to you i have worked two or three more rows by placing the increases in the <coughs> penultimate and the second stitch of the rows and the increase is <coughs> evenly placed there is no difference in the sides but yes the gaping hole that appears here will not appear here in these rows and this space also gets subsumed in the stitches when all the stitches are placed one next to the other and here you have a even uh, stitches of single crochets the increase is the same when you work your half double crochet or double crochet let me demonstrate the half double crochet increase <coughs> again chain one turn place a half double crochet in the very first stitch place two half double crochets in the second stitch and one half double crochet in each of the stitches till you reach the last but one so place one half double crochet i shall meet you at this particular point i've come to the end of the row here <coughs> yarn over place two half double crochets the penultimate stitch and place your last half double crochet in the last stitch chain one and turn and continue first stitch is half double crochet in the very first one increase in the second so increase means generally making additional stitches in the stitch marked wherever whichever stitch you have to increase there you have to make additional stitches so these increases may be somewhere in the middle it may be in the ends and then the, when you are working in the rounds it will be at regular intervals so that is how it is so i shall finish two more rows of increase with half double crochet and get back to you <coughs> so these three rows are increased by hdc's in the second and the second last stitches the increase appears even at the ends now next I will demonstrate the increase with HD, uh, sorry, uh, double crochets. I have 9 stitches here. <coughs> so I am going to place my double crochet increase in the second and the second last stitch. So as usual I begin my first stitch of the second row with a standing double crochet in the very first stitch. And 
two double crochets in the second <coughs> And one double crochet each in the next stitches till you reach the second last so I've reached the second last place two double crochets And one double crochet in the very last stitch. Again, turn, standing double crochet, two in the next, one each on each of the <coughs> next double crochets till the last but one I shall meet you after a few rows continue in placing increases in the second and the second last this is how the DC increase looks when we are increasing in the ends these increases play increases and decreases play a very important role when you are working the sleeves and patterns and dresses there you need to increase at definite points and at definite places and Definitely when you're working the sleeves you need to increase and decrease in the end of the rows or in the mid and end of the round. Okay, so that is how uh, the sleeves take shape and uh, you have a better fit in the wearables. So this is how this DC looks guys. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. Do subscribe to Magic Needles channel. <coughs> And do not forget to hit on the bell icon so that you are notified as and when we upload new videos. I shall be back with yet another video next day. Bye for now.